Hey there, I'm Gus, and today we're diving into the exciting world of password cracking with Hashcat. So, buckle up and get ready for an incredible adventure. Hashcat primary purpose is to reveal the original phrase or password behind a hashed secret. Like what? For example, Hashcat can crack Microsoft Windows passwords, the one that you use to log in into your Windows session. As a side note, we don't use the word hack when revealing a password's original value. The word crack is used instead. Now you can do the same for Linux passwords. In the upcoming demo, I will show you a practical example of how to extract and crack a Linux password. Hashcat will crack most of the hash algorithms. So any password saved in a database will be cracked successfully by Hashcat. On top of that, Hashcat can crack some versions of Microsoft Office protected documents. Another widespread usage is the ability to crack protected zip files. Folks, the list is so extensive. And if you are interested, I invite you to visit their website and check all the supported algorithms. Now, you might be wondering about the meaning of the word hash in Hashcat. Hashing is a process that websites and operating systems like Windows or Linux use to secure your passwords. For instance, if your password is 123456, it gets transformed into an unrecognizable string using hashing algorithm, like MD5, for example. There are numerous hashing algorithms out there. Now, for those who want to dive deep and become pros at cracking passwords, check out the link in the description below. Now, the second big question is how the cracking process works. In fact, it's so simple. It takes the original hash and try to match it with a text. If it finds a word that produces the same hash, then your password has been cracked successfully. But there is a crucial factor we need to address, which is the speed of Hashcat. How quickly Hashcat cracks a hash depends on the power of your computer, specifically your central processing unit, or CPU, and your graphic processing unit, which is called a GPU. The great thing about Hashcat is that it can use both. Now, GPUs were originally designed for rendering video games, and later it was found that they excel at password cracking. They can execute thousands of calculations in parallel, turbocharging Hashcat. For example, the GPU rig I use personally for password cracking runs on six graphic cards that crack hashes like a champion. Exciting, right? Now, let's get our hands dirty and start cracking some hashes. To begin, download Hashcat by clicking on the binaries download link from its official website. Once it's downloaded, extract the files to your desired location. Next, we need a dictionary file that contains the most common passwords. A popular source 
for this is a GitHub repository called SecLists. On the home page, click on the passwords folder. Next, you can pick and download a password file and save it to your PC. Our mission is to crack a specific hash. So I will use an online hash generator to hash the password 123456. Now let's fire up Hashcat and I will be using Windows Terminal Shell. Take note, I'm using an older version of Hashcat, which is 6.2.1. Let's start. Hashcat tacm 0 which represents the MD5 hash type, then tech A0 as well, which indicates we're using a dictionary attack, followed by the hash value, and then the pass to the dictionary file. Here, I'm using my own custom dictionary, which is called passwords.txt. As you press enter, Hashcat will start its operation. Loading the dictionary file will take a while, so I will speed up the process so you don't wait for that to finish. At this stage, the dictionary file has been loaded. To visualize the progress, you can hit the character S on your keyboard. It's still doing its thing. Now, According to Hashcat, it will take approximately a minute and a half to finish. This is very useful for us to know how long this thing will finish until the end of the dictionary file. Here we go. We have the password cracked successfully. Now to see the clear text password, I will load the pot text file and here we have it. Since you now understand the basics, let's spice things up and crack a Linux password. Let's see together how the pros will do it. I will access my Kraken Linux host on my network and extract a hashed password from the shadow file. This is where Linux stores passwords. In this shadow file, I will copy Elliot hashed password to crack. If you don't know who Elliot is, I encourage you to go and watch the series of Mr. Robot if you want to enjoy hacking on the big screen. Now, since Linux uses a different hash algorithm, we need to figure out the correct option for Linux hashes. To get the job done, I'll open Hashcat homepage and from here, browse to the wiki link and then scroll down and click on the example hashes link. Here on this page, we have all the hashes format with their hash mod number. Based on our Linux hash, I know that it starts with dollar sign six then dollar sign. By searching on the page, we can see that the mode number is 1800 for Unix passwords and it's using the SHA-512 hashing algorithm. Let's crack the password using my cracking rig. First of all, I will save the hash to a new text file. Now let's get started with our comment. First, I'll type hashcat, then tecm1800, which signifies the SHA-512 hash type used by Linux. Then tecm0, which means a dictionary attack. After that, 
the path to the hash file. Then I will add the path to the password file, which is rockyou.txt. And finally, I will include the path to the rule file, which will expand the range of password combinations. In other words, Hashcat will add random characters and numbers to the dictionary file so we can cover more ranges. All right, let's run it. The cracking rig now kicks into high gear to crack the password. Depending on the password complexity, it might take some time, even days. Boom, look at that. The password is cracked successfully. Now, let's check it out by opening the pod file. And here it is, the password of Elliot. I hope you like this tutorial. Hashcat is a fantastic tool. It can unlock a whole new world of understanding about hacking. You have plenty more exciting adventures waiting for you in cybersecurity. And don't forget, if you want to learn more about the subject, there is a link down in the description. Check it out. Take care and see you in our next tutorial.